Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's workout, we are going to do a total body toning workout to increase your muscle tone and your stamina. Okay, so I'm just getting warmed up here, so you can join in when you're ready. I have a chair as usual for any, if you have balance problems or if you want to use it for some of the exercises. There are a few in here today where you might need something to hold on to, or you could also hold on to a wall or a door or some sturdy piece of furniture. Now I'm just step touching it out here, getting those arms going, getting myself warmed up. Now I'm also going to use a light pair of dumbbells, they're a kilogram each, and I also have a three kilogram one for a, a dumbbell swing, or you can just do a body weight, because it is a bit of a tricky exercise that takes a little bit of uh, time to get used to. But if you want to use dumbbells, have them handy, just have them out of the way for our warm up, and, um, or you can just do this body weight, okay? All right, let's make this move a little bit bigger now. Can you get down a little deeper? Good, if you can't, stay upright, all right. So we're gonna be shaping and toning our whole body here today. So this can be a workout that you could add into a walking workout. You could do them back to back. Now there is a, there is a bit of car, going to be a cardio element with this as well because we will be um, keeping that heart rate up a little bit. Okay, let's bring in some arms now. Reach up to the ceiling. Good. Give me ten more with the arms. Keep those legs going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep your legs moving. Sorry. Four more. Three two and one now let's kick out heel dig press that heel into the floor oh it's great to get moving on these winter days it's really dark here today it hasn't stopped raining we've had non-stop rain really dark cloud gloomy days and it's good just to get up exercise exercise indoors and uh, just lift that mood lift your spirits a little bit with a bit of a bit working out and getting that heat into the body too all right Good. Let's get those arms going because there it's a fair bit of arm moving um, arm movements today. So with the particularly with the dumbbells as well, if you decide to use them. Good. That's it. Kick and kick. Good. Give me ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to do a few squats now. So open up the legs a little bit. Sit your hips back behind you. That's it, good, oh, it's good to get all those cracks and crease out of the, the bones. <laughs> That's it, sit back, pull those arms back. Just make sure when you're squatting, you're looking forward, you're sending your tailbone down to the floor, pressing the weight into your heels and tracking those knees out over your shoelaces or over your toes if you're not wearing any footwear. Good, and squeeze your glutes on the way up. Squeeze, go ahead and engage those muscles right from the start. Abs in nice and tight. Good. Give me two more. And last one. Now let's reach and reach. Just tap your toe and big, draw a big circle with your arms, alternating the arms left and right, or right and left. Good. That's it. Now if this is too much for your shoulders, just do what you can. Come down and make a little circle. Do whatever you can today. Good. Just as long as you're here working out with me, you've showed up and that's what counts. Good. And reach and reach. And the more you do that, the more it'll become a habit. And then you miss it then when you don't do it. Let's go the opposite way with the arms. Keep the legs doing the same thing, even though they will feel like they've changed direction too. <laughs> that's good. Try not to bend at the waist now as the arms come around. Keep your head right up to the ceiling for me. Good, you've got that string coming from your head right up to the ceiling. And big circle. Four, three, two, and one. Over to the side, over to the side. Now, these are just our ninny little lunges. You can make them bigger as you go through the move. That's it. Over and over. Keep your chest upright for me. You can actually use your fingers under your chin just to encourage your chest to stay upright. Just don't throw your neck back behind you though when you do that. You're just, it's just a tiny touch just to cue your chest to stay upright, okay? That's it. Can you get down deeper and deeper? 
good if you find that's just too much for you in this the warm-up you can leave it to the end you can do this in the cool down there's no harm doing ballistic or dynamic stretches like this where there's movement in your cool down it doesn't always have to be static stretches good you feel your ankles uh, warming up that's it three to go two and one and speaking of the ankles and if you need support come to a door let's rotate them okay so around we go that's it so we've 20 moves here today and like I say, you can go body weight if you want to. Rotate the other way. We're going to be getting every muscle worked. Look forward to this workout. Let's change legs. Hold on to something again if you have to. If you can let go, give, give it a go because you really work that ankle, that standing ankle, when it's not supported. It, it'll, uh, it has to do the work itself. Rotate the other way so it'll get stronger. But if, you're, if you find you're flying all over the place, hold on, just even a little fingertip just sends that uh, message. Let's go up and down to uh, calf raises here, up on your toes. Just, just that little touch sends a message to your brain to tell you that there's a little bit of help there. Good, and lift and down, and lift and down. Do you feel your calf stretching out there? Nice dynamic stretch for the calf, good. That's it, lift and down two more and we'll start and one more good work well done right so i'm going to hit the clock so if you're using dumbbells hold on to them now we've 10 seconds to get into position all right first move we're going to step back and we're going to add a bicep curl okay now we're working for 50 10 today i forgot to say that 50 10 so 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds just to change over into the next move okay that's it so don't press your heel into the floor keep your heel up protect your Achilles tendon that's it and keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight here good and curl now we're going to do a narrow squat bicep curl and shoulder press next so you're going to find today's moves are, are big compound moves and combination moves as well. So compound meaning like you're working those big uh, muscle groups. Combination, we're just combining the moves with others, like a hybrid move. Good. And curl up and curl. Well done. Now, you've got 10 seconds. Just keep the legs marching gently and we'll get ready now for narrow squat, bicep curl, shoulder press, okay? So narrow squat, bicep curl, shoulder press narrow squat legs are very near each other shoulder press so it's narrow squat bicep curl shoulder press narrow squat bicep curl shoulder press good down curl and lift down curl and lift we've got our body weight swing coming up next or you can use your dumbbell I'm going to go a little heavier with that one. That's going to get my heart rate up a little bit for me. Down, curl, and up. Down, curl, and up. That's it. Sit down, curl it, and up. Okay. Now, right, I'm going to go with my swing as soon as I hear my beep. All right, so remember your swing. It's all in the hips. You don't bend those legs much at all, just a slight bend. So you send your hips forward. Good. And the arms just come down quite low. It's not up here, like it's not a shoulder press. Okay, or a front, press, uh, front raise. Good. Now squeeze your glutes, squeeze. And you can really feel your, your backside working there, your abs. Good. It's great for the hamstrings. If we don't do enough work for the hamstrings, we tend to work the front of the body a lot more than the back. Good. Biceps more than triceps. Quads more than hamstrings. So on. Good. Now squeeze and squeeze. Keep going. Now we've got a knee raise, pec deck and shoulder press next. All right. Big, big moves, Kieran. Big hybrid moves. Okay. Well done. That's brought the heart rate up a little bit for me. Now, so we're going to do a uh, knee raise. So we get the legs going first. All right, legs first. Pec deck, shoulder press. 
good <laughs> it's a little bit confusing if it's too confusing you can break it down either just do the knee raise and the shoulder press or knee raise and pec deck okay so you could just do knee raise pec deck or you could just do knee raise shoulder press or you could split the two of them up if you find this and this is too confusing okay because i want you to get your training effect so just find what works for you there good keep your weights if you're using them next move is alternating curtsy lunges now you can go into a deep a deep knee bend with the next one if you can this is getting my heart rate up weights and hands above the head i'm getting out of breath there i have to keep my legs moving now i don't want blood pooling around the feet okay right curtsy lunges now you can go down deep like i say like this if that's too much for you just step it back step it back keep your heel up you might be able to do a little bend a little bend okay that's it and down keep your chest up you can actually use the dumbbells here under your chin again gives you that little cue not to drop your chest forward send that tailbone to the floor next one now you may need a piece of furniture we're going to do chair leg lifts with lateral raises so lateral or side raises arm out to the side the arm will go the same way as the legs do you hear my breathing these big leg moves no jumping and i'm out of breath okay get ready now i'll just show you the next one so hold on to a piece of furniture okay or if you want to work that standing ankle you can let go if you can okay see what you can do you can rest the hand on the hip here up and down up and down good lift and lower lift and lower Ooh. you're feeling that muscle there that gluteus medius gluteus minimus minimus meaning small smaller than the gluteus maximus the one we sit on good lift now if you want to put the weight on your leg and use it as resistance you can do that and give the shoulder a break whatever you prefer got the other leg to do next good lift up and down a few seconds to go don't forget that shoulder okay all right up and down up and down it's great when you can let go because look at all the work that standing leg is getting oops sorry i worked through the break <laughs> never mind i get a few more reps okay down lift and down up and down i was just saying to see if you can let go i know it's tricky if your balance is off but that standing leg gets a lot of work and you can just tap the floor here if you want to speed it up that's it tap and lift tap and lift now next move we're going to do a front squat so we're going to be holding the weights up here in front or your hands if you're not using weights and then we're going to twist the torso one side and then the other side good lift and lift and up Ooh, feeling that good you feeling that there right there in your shoulder okay now torso twists okay i'm taking that break just keep the legs moving so we get into a front squat or squat position sit down and twist and twist good rotate now be careful as you rotate your spine pivot on the knee pivot the toe and then the knee will follow that's it down and twist down and twist good make sure you're sitting into your squat and your knees are tracking over those toes good down and twist down and twist good the modified lunge and shoulder press one side we're going to work one side that's coming next good and then move the other side to do reach over come on you can feel this okay now modified lunge so the foot will just step back behind you and then into a shoulder press as you face the front okay just join you when you're ready i may as well just keep going good 
and reach. Now we have the other side to do the next 50 seconds. Now if you want to go down into a deeper uh, knee bend, you can do that. If you can, go ahead. Lift up, down, lift up. Good. Down, lift up. If that's too much for you, just step back, reach. Step back and reach. You can take up the pace there if you're doing the modified version. Take note of what leg you're doing because you're going to switch. Reach up, down and reach. Down and reach. Just there now. Three seconds. Let's get one more. Reach up. Okay. Whew. I'm going to keep my legs moving. My heart rate is up a little bit. Get ready for the other leg. Hand or weights and goblet or hands and goblet, yeah. So and shoulders. Good. And shoulders. Now again, if that's too much for you, just step it back and reach your arms up. That's it. You don't have to be going down into big deep knee bends. Maybe you can do just a little mini and reach up. Now if you obviously if you need oops, if you need help with your balance. Hold on to something and leave out the arms, okay? Just find what's working for you there. Good. And lift up. And lift up. Well done. Down. And lift up. Just there now. Okay, I've got some mini squats next. <laughs> and the arms will come in and out. So when I say mini squat, you don't have to go down deep. So mini arms in now keep your legs moving now between these exercises it'll keep your heart rate up for you squat and reach squat open up that chest do you feel that chest working and those shoulders working gosh yeah, it's a great exercise this and you can speed it up particularly if you're going body weight you can get your cardio in here as well good open sit down open split squats are next now quite an advanced exercise I'll show you a modified version. Open, sit down, open, and sit. Big, big move here. That's tough with the weights, even light weights. Watch your squatting technique. Track those knees over your shoes, shoelaces, or your toes. Weight into your heels, chest is high. Okay, now modified lunge. I'll show you. Keep your legs just in a little marching. Ac um, action there so you're going to split squat and then into a shoulder bent a lateral raise side raise now if, obviously if you can't go into a deep squat just go into a mini squat uh, sorry a lunge or squat is also known as a stationary squat this one so mini lift mini lift even lighter than that if you can and lift and if you need help with your balance i'm on the right leg here by the way just again leave the arms out and use some uh, wall or some furniture lift good down Ooh, feeling the burn in the arms now a couple of these in a row lift up good and up and down it's only 20 minutes now or oh, the actual work portion today keep those legs going now so that was my right leg I had behind me. I'm going to send my left leg back behind me. Work hard. It's a short workout today. So 20 minutes plus, I think we did about a four minute warm up. Get that uh, balance. You can see I'm trying to find mine there. Good. And lift. You can either do the shoulder portion by itself or you can run it into the exercise if your balance is good. So down and lift down and lift or else just do the legs first and separate out the arms i think that's a bit easier on the balance okay now you've got a wide knee raise coming next one side only opposite side the following exercise good drop and lift down and lift good down and lift okay there's your time now wide knee raise one side only okay so get ready and go so up and up 
that's it good up and up reach up to the ceiling reach up that's it so you're really working your tummy here do you feel it working and if you're holding a dumbbell you're gonna really feel your shoulders they're getting burnt out here quickly got the other side to do now the next minute oh, it'll be rested though that's it good Ooh, what have we left I think we've about 15 seconds yes less now good and lift and lift and lift you're nearly there hang in hang in okay heart rate's up now get ready now for the other side oh that was tough okay arm up in the air there you go so just crossing that knee over sorry did i call it wide crossing the knee over good next one now is called row the boat so just be careful if you're using dumbbells with the next one i found when i was uh, running through these moves or coming up with this workout that i was banging my knees with these dumbbells so go out wide give yourself a wide berth with it. <laughs> you'll end up with bruised legs that's it lift up lift up good I am really feeling my shoulders. <laughs> Keep going, come on. Squeeze your abs, that's it. Get some tummy work in. You're just there. Okay, you made it. Well done, I'll just show you row the boat. Row, give yourself a wide berth if you're using dumbbells. Don't be banging your knees. Good, come in when you're ready. That's it, row the boat. Good. If your arms are getting really fatigued, rather than saying, I've, I, I think I've done enough of this workout today, put the weights down. See how you go without the weights. Good. Up. That's it. Straighten your spine. Squeeze your glutes as you come up to the middle. That's it. Get your work. Get your glutes switched on. They can be quite a lazy muscle, but if you sit down a lot in the day, switch them on. That's it. Squeeze and squeeze good good keep your chest up i know you're bending a little bit at the waist there but again your back stays straight keep your back straight good give those arms a break all right you'll need it next one's a knee raise and you're going to press watch your knees do it out to the side you're going to press your hands down to the floor okay you ready for this weights down if you're really exhausted because i want you to have good form down knee up press down now again I want you to really pretend you are pressing something down now when you have weights in your hand that will probably make the exercise make it force you into doing it correctly nearly because you're using a weight it'll slow you down and stop you swinging okay using momentum push down that's it keep your spine tall spine tall from your head is held high good you can speed up if you want to get a bit of cardio in here with the legs Good, a little bit faster. Next move, we're going to double up the knee, so two knee raises. Same arm move. Good, that's it. Okay, keep the legs moving. Now, next one, double up the knees, okay? So it's just one, two, same arm move. All right, let's go. One, two, change legs. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's it, come on, you can do this, two, one, two, one, two, oops, one, two, come on, keep going, one, two, oh, this is tough on the arms, feeling this, one, two, one, two, my arms are exhausted, we have a squat and kick back next, so the arms will get a break somewhat. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, this looks easy, but it's really tough. Okay, we're just there. Ooh, that was hard. Right, squat and kick back. So all you're gonna do is just a little squat, kick back. You can leave the weights actually in front and rest out the arms. That's it, kick back. 
squat squeeze your glutes squeeze your bum cheek squeeze squeeze kick back down kick back kick back that's it you're feeling the glutes there your bum your butt muscles working that's it yeah and kick down and kick go a bit faster now for the last 20 seconds good keep your posture now nice and tall for me kick back down kick down kick down kick kick now the last one's going to really challenge you if you decide to lift weights it's going to really hit those shoulders it's got a full body move now the next one we're going to do a wide knee raise and weights down to hips okay full minute of this or nearly a minute 50 seconds can you do it come on again we're going to finish with a tough exercise now if you have more time and you're feeling really energized now you could repeat that workout again okay and get 40 minutes you can maybe even try body weight if your shoulders are tired second time around that's it good or you can add it to a walking workout lots of options that's it come on you can feel those abs working and those shoulders you had no doubt about those shoulders working good go a little faster for your last few seconds you're just there now you did a great workout today you should be proud of yourselves and there you go well done to you okay let's turn off our timer my heart rate's up really high now a few of those exercises brought it up oh, let's bring it down okay good work just pace a little bit how do you feel after that where do you feel it the most me shoulders definitely heart rate my heart it started off nice i was thinking this is just going to be a nice uh, maybe probably more strength toning workout today but it turned out to be cardio definitely got my cardio in there with some of those moves nice enjoyable workout so like i say it's good to add to a walking workout or do do it again if you want to if you're feeling like you're full of energy now and you want to keep going <laughs> okay that's it let's stretch out your trunk a little bit we had a few tummy moves there in the standing position reach up to the ceiling for me good right up you can interlace your hands if you feel like you get a better stretch that's good work feeling that nice stretch all along your the front of your torso there let's open up and let's uh, open our legs wide can you reach down to the floor if not don't worry come back up to the middle reach the other foot and back up reach and again it's not a static stretch here i'm just bringing in a little bit of movement but i can really feel the back of my legs my hamstrings good and up and up just watch as you rotate your spine here just be careful You've got to watch your spine when you rotate your body and most definitely if you're losing weights be careful okay let's go down to the floor if you can't get to the floor just raise yourself up here look even try it with, if you don't have anything handy around just uh, go wherever your body can can go i always find if you stack up towels or a coffee table or have a chair around have something around to help you with your stretching as well it's very very beneficial for you use your use what you have in your house you'll be amazed what you can find to help you get through your workouts working out at home is great you get to do it in the privacy of your own home uh, you don't have to deal with the elements outside particularly if you live in a climate like we have here with all the rain okay that's it can you feel that nice inner thigh stretch hold it good walk your hands forward now you can either step it in or if you can jump it in go ahead just straighten out your spine good work let's stretch out the calves we'll go to the door today and again feet facing forward or 12 o'clock relax your neck push your heel or your yeah your heel or your foot into the floor 
and I'm going to push into the door here like I'm pushing the door away that's increasing the stretch for me in my calf great hold that there you should feel stretched to the point of mild tension when that wears off you can press your heel a little bit deeper into the floor but always be wary of that be careful with yourself okay make sure you're, you are in control good toes facing the front and as always I will leave a link in this video and all the videos for um, a link to my warm-ups and my cool downs they're in every single video I post on YouTube just uh, scroll down you'll see them in the description box below the video hit the link and it will bring you straight to the video so you don't have to go searching for videos on the channel I know as a channel um, uploads more and more videos it's hard to find what you want but uh, I'll always leave a link for those two there because I'm uh, I just keep the cool down short at the end of the video but I want to say a big thank you for joining me today you did great I hope you're feeling nice and strong and feeling kind of pumped up a little bit after those moves I sure am and I will see you back here in the next video thanks for joining me today bye bye